no downtime whatsoever. We're back. <laughs> Coming At hot all. off the last one. I'm Slot. caffeinated, boys. Let's go. Did you have any interaction with your uh, DoorDash driver? Yeah. She was like, the, the app is that glitchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, neat. Whoa. Oh, I right, got some yes. for you, boys. How we looking? How oh. we looking? Oh, I thought you said you didn't. we didn't need these. You know, I, Ryan, while you're gone, I said, hey, we don't need these, but I got them anyways. <laughs> like, when we played four players, we needed them. I need to get some World War II helmets like you two guys. My helmet's pretty too pricey. My, my helmet's too pricey and too good. Oh, you have the, the Kiver on. Okay. That's all I got for a helmet. Yo, Ryan Gary, why don't you take the point on this one? All right. So here's the way I like to run right, interchange. Wh which one's Ryan here? I am uh, not face mask. Not mask man. Got it. So Southeast Xville is this way as the crow flies. That's the crow flies. But we're not going to go right there. We're going to do a loop. Imagine this map is a square. We're going north on the left edge right now, so to the northwest direction. Okay. We'll hit the uh, X field that's over here for a little bit of loot. We'll go to power station, get a little bit of loot. Then we can loop south and uh, we can X fill with all our juicy stuff. With the option, the contract option to go inside of the mall Ooh. if we're comfortable after that power station loot fest. All right. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. The two of you are teleporting constantly on my screen yeah the most recent update has is introduced some latency issues in in my opinion so i'm gonna i'm gonna lob a, a topic of conversation out there it's not piping hot but it's like Man, you lob a topic of conversation every time dan tells me he's gonna bring up something controversial it's always like do you prefer ketchup or mustard no so no no, no. This I'm, not, is, I'm not too worried about it this is like uh, like it's not touch the stove get burnt but it's like something's been in the microwave and but it's been sitting there for five minutes so, so it's cool all right let's go so what are your thoughts on so let's just say math is you invented uh mickey mouse okay okay should that ever uh, oh, come? Oh, oh. I think I Scav saw it. or player? Player oh, for sure. Tracer ammo uh, yeah. dead ahead. Yeah. He's shooting at me. He popped me twice. Okay. I'm holding this dangle on him. He's right. Uh, ship, a red shipping container. He's He was peeking right side. I'm metting up. He, he's peeking left side of that shipping container now. Okay. I'm going to try and... Blank left here. I'm a, may draw some fire here, boys. I only have a TT, so I'm trying to get close. He sees me right side. If anyone can take a shot, I don't see him. Yeah, I'm looking. Right oh, I see him now. Yeah, near, near, there's yeah. two of them. They're near tracer ammo. I got, I got oh. one of them, boys. I got one there's of them. Nice, one behind nice, the nice. chipping container, I think. Okay. Yep, there okay. he is. I, I, what side of the shipping? Uh, he went to the right of the shipping container to the green one. Okay. Behind the red one. Behind the red one? I'm going to push him here. He's going to be near the green one on the red one's right. Like frontal or, or behind? I lost him. He's, he went behind it. I couldn't okay, see Okay, that's him. Ryan Gary in front of me. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the bush with a pistol. All right, he's got eyes on me. He just took a shot. He must be right, huh? You hear that? I thought that was Matt was shooting. Nope, that's not me. I don't see him. You get eyes, I'm let like, me know. I'm, I mean, I'm watching all the shipping containers. He's he's near the van. Oh, I'm it? down. I'm dead. How'd you, how'd you die, though? No shots. No idea. Might might be behind us. I heard it a shot. From, it was right it here. From, maybe you, it came from the mall. Did you bleed out? No, I heard a shot. And no, I, I heard the shot, too. Oh, okay. Well, Daniel? Oop, and yeah. The game crashed. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, don't shoot me. You're not. You're no, not. Oh, okay. Not. Yeah. Let's go. There, there's the body Dan dropped. Dirty Duff 79. He got me. Oof. Where he went. So I'm just trying to be aggressive. Uh, yeah. As a result of Mathis's early death. I felt like it came from. The right side. Did that guy have anything good? I mean, he had some decent stuff, but I don't think we got the time to, to divvy, you know what I mean? Okay. You, you can search his pockets if you want. I'll try to cover you. Just, I'm looking to. 
I mean, his his gun was kitted. It looks like something like take Call it, of Duty level it, forty five. It. It's I'll, already been taken. Uh. All right, let's do that. let's loot I, him. I don't do loot politics in the middle of the firefight. <laughs> you you grab something you could use. That's at the that's at the mall for sure. Let's uh let's let's run for the XD then and then. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying. What's our other X fill? Um. Power station southeast. Well, it, I mean, if we can get out power station, if you've ever done that before and you're confident, uh, just need his ammo. If you're confident you can get us out, I'll, I'll pay the rubles. That's not a problem. Um, how much does it cost? Let's go. 3, let's go southeast because I don't. I don't have any money on me. I don't, it's it's three thousand rubles. It's like it's like buying a garbage bag. On I know, market. but I but I don't know if I have them. I have them. No, you have to have them on your person. Do you want me to drop 3,000 rubles for you? So you have 6,000 in your pocket. I have 16,000. Oh, yeah, pocket. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. How do you drop a specific amount? Um, I think alt right click on the item. So, Matt, is you there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, not work? I'm, I'm, not I'm good. I'm just looking at uh, shops. I'm going to buy some helmets or Here, something. Just drop the stack and I'll give it back to you. Here, let, we can go southeast. Yeah. That's fine. Um, so Matt, so it's he, a long run. Yeah. Though. So here was my my microwave topic that came up on during uh, Twitch stream. Say, so Matt, to say you invented Mickey Mouse. Sure. When do you not own Mickey Mouse anymore? Isn't there a, literally a law that says if you don't use it by you know within X number of years, it becomes like a uh, public domain or something along those lines? If you don't uh, actively re-up your copyright then it's like 10 years or something like that and then it's every 10 years after that that you have to re-up there it is but i believe that disney has like campaigned to change the legislation successfully where essentially they can own it into perpetuity which i think is the reason that dan's bringing it up is people are upset they think that disney uh, at some point should lose the uh, exclusive copyright oh there's a dude yep. right in front of us dan a nice shot. Uh, what do you got? So, go ahead and loot him. I'll cover you. What do you got? Do you think that Disney should be able to make money on that forever? Or do you think it should eventually become public domain? I can't even pretend to know oh, the I'm right dead. answer to that question. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what would be the right call there. <clears throat> I feel like they should own it forever, but <laughs> I think that that's uh, is a slightly contentious position to have online. Well. Explain your position without being contentious. That's not... I mean, I'm not afraid about having a, a slightly contentious opinion. But, like, if, if your company created something, why shouldn't you own the rights into perpetuity? How do you feel about that, Mathis? I mean... I don't care enough, so I'm, I'm down. Like, let them let have it. I mean, what, what are putting in the public domain going to do beyond being able to stream the videos on Twitch for free. Well, the idea <laughs> that people have to not be like Make dishonest movies? towards them is that, yeah, you could have, uh, by it being out in the public domain, uh, you know, people, it's like Snow White, you know, you don't just have Snow White movies anymore. You got the, the Huntsman, you got Listen, the... Alright, if, if uh, now I'm going to say something that might upset some people. Yeah. But Warhammer is a great example as to why not to let everybody and their grandmother have their hands on a franchise. <laughs> why? Isn't that all Games Workshop? Yeah, basically all Games Workshop. No, they, well, they, they license it out to just like any developer that uh. wants it. And so in turn, we get about 90% garbage Warhammer games and then 10% really good ones. And then there's the few that are like Chaos Bane, I think just came out. Supposedly really good, being completely overlooked because it's a Warhammer game. And it's like, well, oh, uh. yeah, Warhammer games are really bad. So sure, in the public domain, you know, you get that opportunity where, like you said, you get the Huntsman or you get this or you get that. But then you also get everyone and their grandmother just pumping out content on it so you're bound to just mostly get garbage oh uh, if you guys want to do a run i'm probably like i survived it so why don't you guys do a run really because you i mean you were like six inches away from me when i got one tapped so i'm, I'm surprised you haven't had any heat yeah, no i took two out oh dude because okay, I'm, I'm pretty far from southeast right what do you want to do ryan mad is come Pistol in run? Come in completely unequipped, just with an axe. Okay. Go to factory. 
or an axe or knife, whatever. I got an axe. Let's go. Okay, factory fifteen twenty eight. I don't know how to invite you. I don't let me know. When you're, let me know. know when you're in the group. I'm in the group. I see, I see okay. you. Oh, I see you. Okay, so then right click, invite to group. I got gotcha. you. There it is. All right, let's do it. All right, we're scavs. Don't shoot. I although I told you not, not to bring a gun, I brought a pistol. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, I'll tap, I'll tap a scav, you take his loot. All right. Yeah. And then we'll trade up. Then you tap a scav. It's like gun game. I take it. Exactly. Gotcha. I, I get why it's controversial. Because the idea is, you know, oh, you're the CEO of the corporation in 1875, invented a cartoon mouse, and then, like, you get to own it forever. I think people are also like they're they're anti Disney because you know just because it works for Disney, kind of screws up copyright for everything else. You know, for smaller properties that now otherwise would have made it into the public domain don't like, now. Like what? Well, like literally any property, like stuff that came out 50 years ago could have been public domain were it not for successfully changing the legislation about it. Mm. But then who owns that? The original creators owns that? You... Well, if it's in the public domain, nobody really owns it. I mean, everybody's free to make works like using that property. But you're saying like because Disney did that, stuff that was about to expire didn't expire? Is that... Oh, that's Matt. Hey, how's it going? Oh. I mean, like it's... Zach? It's... Don't, don't right click <laughs> on me, mister. Right click. Oh, there's a dude dead ahead. Down this tunnel. I guess I'm not sure why I'm calling it out. Yeah, I was like, all right, well, axe. lead the way, sir. All right, all right. He knows we're coming, but we can beat him. Is it a player? Well, there's no way for me to know, but if he crouched behind this thing, he's probably a player. <laughs> did I did I drop him? I'm gonna charge him. <laughs> no. <laughs> got him! Got get him! Get him! Get him! He he dies, got bastard! Him. You got him. Yeah. You stabbed him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I chopped him up with my axe. Ryan Yo, is pretty a hurt. Real, he's a real player. I got his dog tags. Yo, did you get his gun too? Uh, yeah, he had a he had a Mosin and that's it. No ammo. Dude, that's he great. Had... You stabbed a guy with with a gun? <laughs> no, I stabbed him with my axe. No, but he had a gun and he didn't kill you. No, he was shooting at Ryan. He was very distracted with Ryan. Uh -huh. I don't think he saw me coming rushing around the corner. Yeah, my man was confused for sure. All right. Well, I have three bullets left. What do you got in that Mosin? Uh. All tab, Less or all than team? half. Less than half, so probably like one or two. Probably <laughs> two. You... No, are you? <laughs> we haven't we done got... anything yet. I got a gun. You got a Mosin, no oh, big whoop. Is that coughing uh, not you? That's me for sure. Do you know what the Mosin takes? Uh, is there a way? There's got to be a way to tell, right? It's like a seven something. Seven six two by fifty four R. Okay. It's like a golden bullet looking thing. My left arm is destroyed. Oh, dude, I'm my chest is like word is blacked out. Um, that was a deadman down there. It's that's a uh, fool's gold. Fool's gold. Okay, so this is oh dropped one player or scab. <laughs> uh, probably a player. They were standing still. He had a, he had a freaking ADR on him. <laughs> Then you only have four bullets? <laughs> yep. He only needed one, baby. Just shot him in the head. I'm just checking any, his. Any gear. meds on him? Um. Also, oh, 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 we're dead. We're dead. Oh. I just. I don't know what happened. We just died. Oh, what happened? Egg, we got shot. <laughs> yeah, what, what happened to us is what happened to him. You got yeah, stabbed? I no, I was looting. Okay. I am uh, approaching. Well, Ryan Gary, so I needed to go straight and then hook a hard left, right? You got all the way to one corner? I got a, you know that road we were on? Yeah. I went, hit that wall, and then I followed that wall left. That's southeast, right? When you say you followed it left, you mean the wall was on your right? Yes. Naturally. Um, so you, you, you would reach a corner, and then you would put the intersecting wall on your right and follow that to the exit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm extracting. Okay. All right, so you guys, you guys burn the scab run. We can. What do you want to reload? No, no, no. We didn't. No, no. PMC. That was just a. PMC. Oh, cool. All right. Yeah. So let's let's scab. Uh, we can. I mean, customs interchange. 
What's what's woods? Does anybody ever go to the woods? It's uh, it's the woods. It's, it's like boring. Sniper City. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, you want to do interchange? Yeah, we didn't really get much of a much yeah, of a shot at it. Let's do a scav interchange. It. What what one do you want to do? Nineteen or seven? Seven thirty, I think. I don't know. I was just surprised. I don't want to say surprised, but I was trying to like poke and prod to get a uh, X so I can learn an explanation of how that's not the opposite side of the coin. Like a way in which having no copyrights is a good thing. Well, I, especially in the YouTube industry, like we benefit from lax copyright law and mm -hmm. I can understand why. And the same with like derivative works like. Uh, you know, people make like Nintendo fan games and then they get lawfully cease and desisted just because mm -hmm. it's lawful doesn't necessarily mean it's like it's a good thing for the end consumer or obviously the creator. People are like, you know, if Metroid uh, 2 came out 30 years ago, why should somebody be unable to make a free version of Metroid 2 if Nintendo's not capitalizing on the property? So it's, I don't think it's like a cut and dry issue, yeah. but I do also, no, I don't know, my not. my personal opinion is like if you created the property, you should have like the right of first refusal um, to to give it up, basically. And if you lapse on actually like actively maintaining the copyright, then that's fine. See, I think that Nintendo would gain a tremendous amount of goodwill by just letting that uh, fan game exist. Oh, I yeah. agree. And th there's like certain, it's almost like um, Pavlovian responses mm -hmm. to issues in the game industry that annoy the Christ out of me. And one of them is whenever like somebody issues a cease and desist, there's always a bunch of 14 year olds are like, well, <laughs> if I heard on this one podcast, if they don't act on their copyright, then they could, then anybody could just use it. I had no choice but to sue you, dude. There's, you know, <laughs> like you, you always have a choice. Sorry, uh, we got to coordinate here. I'm loading loot still. Okay, I'm in. I am I'm creating loot pools. Bad cap, bad cap and sunglasses on. I have uh, an OP SKS, Ooh. A, tr a Triton tactical rig. Ooh. Damn. And an I... e-cigarette. <laughs> I've just got a cigarette and a shotgun, no helmet. Okay. I'm in a FEMA tent, don't shoot. I see. Is that you? Yep, that's me, but someone's to your right. Ryan, someone's to your right behind you. All right, I'm in. I'm Dead. in a building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see him. That's uh, scabby. Are you scab sure that's walking. not? Make sure that's not Mathis. No, Mathis, are you I walking. I mean, I just stopped walking. I'm Is not there... in a tent. I'm not in a tent. I'm in a building. I'm in a mall. <laughs> oh, did you see yeah, the so collapse? He... Yo, was that you guys shooting? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I took one shot. All right, I that's... heard a distant shot, so I'm gonna try and find my way there. You, sh you should loot him. I'm kidding. I'll, I'll cover. This one. Though, so, I will. I will say I don't know necessarily if I'm gonna make it out of this mall alive. That's true. If you're in the mall, it's a little touchy. Oop, oh, oop. there's another scav. Trust me. Oop, I heard another shot. All right. Yeah, drop run, to, run towards that shot. Single I'm shot. I'm trying. Well, I heard two shots. It was two. Yeah. Right? Yes, it was. It was. They were both me. All See, right. this is where I start to get a little tilted. Yeah, please, <laughs> please. But I, it's the it's the ambiguous discourse. I get that I'm being anal about it. I wish I could stop. No, no, it's helpful. Vest, but like you know. Head towards a single shot. I heard two shots. You know, <laughs> like why? Why don't we just say what we mean? Mean what we say on the first pass? Because uh, you only fired one shot at that. Time. I don't. Oh, okay. Now that right. close. All right, I'm good to go. Where are you? We're at. Uh, we're we're at the edge of the map near a tall blue wall near FEMA tents. Tall blue uh, wall. I can see tall blue wall. Okay, don't <laughs> shoot if you see people coming towards the barbed wire fence. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm, if you hear running footsteps, it's me. Mathis, are you in grass or are you in parking lot? I'm on road uh, okay. with the blue oh. wall to my right. Okay. Blue wall to his right? Yeah, I see a FEMA tent. We're near FEMA. You see a, a big truck? I see a few big trucks. I see a... Oh, is that you, Mathis? He probably. I just... Are I'm you jumping. at a... You're jumping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're coming to you. Where are you? Brian Gary, did you oh, run? You Brian Gary, did you run down left? Ball to your left. You ran. Are you on the road? Yeah. Looking good. Thank you. We have the same face. You need. Uh, you need anything? 
Uh, all, I've got a couple of pliers, <laughs> a grenade, and shotgun. That's all I got. I got a and gun a for you, Mathis, but I don't know where you guys are. You gotta put the wall to your left. Is that Dan right there? Over to the red, in the red barrels over here? I'm jumping right now. Yep, yep, stop moving. You're want, uh, turn around and come back, Dan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need a gun? I mean, I just got the shoddy. That's all I got. Yo, this guy had a pretty sick ADAR. Oh, hell yeah. Good ammo, too. What's what's your gun, then? Is AK-74? Uh, 74U, which is a little stubby, so it's got more recoil than... Dude, honestly? Okay. Wait, why can't I pick the, that up? So you're wearing a vest. You're talking about the vest? Did, did you, did you oh. take this? Oh, thank you. So then what's the vest for? Do you want it? No, there's ammo in there for you. Oh, gotcha. Ryan Gary, you got bullets for that or no? Oh, I, I dropped the mag on the ground, but then it evaporated. Oh, no, it's, it's there. right here. It's yeah. right here. Yeah. Okay, if I've taken all the thank ammo you, out of it. You. Do you want to pick it back up? Oh, uh, no, you can keep that. If you want it. All right, cool. We're, we're decently right. kitted. There was some spice in the mall from when we were popping out here, so. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I think we'll do, try the same strat as last time. And hopefully we won't encounter, uh, you know, fully kitted out meme lords. <laughs> We were saying like we think like Nintendo or whoever would get gain goodwill by allowing yeah. that to exist. No, I agree. Nintendo's also in a position where they don't need goodwill to succeed. I know, so but imagine if to. they did though. Oh, it'd be great. Don't no matter what, people people buy like every Nintendo product. No exactly. What. That's <laughs> yeah. exactly what I was getting at. Why like, do you think really that matter. is though? Like Nintendo's pretty ins like Blizzard has proven they're not insulated, but Nintendo is insulated. Why do you guys feel that? Well, Nintendo hasn't really, you know, if we want to get into the nitty gritty, the difference between the two is I don't think Nintendo has really done much to anger their customers beyond just like bizarre developer decisions, like with multiplayer and yeah. like copyright, where Blizzard just keeps shooting themselves in the foot the past couple of years. So I just think there's a, if you go back four years ago, Blizzard and Nintendo are held in the same high regard. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think very few of Nintendo's bad decisions come down to like it seems like they compromised in order to get the almighty dollar <laughs> right exactly like just... lizards diablo blowback definitely it struck people as being cynically like mobile games are where the money is for and this the wow expansion is this latest one was such a disaster and then like nintendo like sure they've made some mobile games but the monetization has been pretty delicate and I mean, the worst thing that Nintendo does is like some of the games are just kind of bad, but a lot of them are like masterpieces. So Honestly, when something like, like, you know, Kirby's Dream Allies or whatever, Kirby Star <laughs> Allies comes out, people are like, yeah, it's bad, but like, whatever. But it's, it's great cute. for like five year olds. You know what I mean? Yeah, I played through that whole game yeah, with, Kate wasn't very on, good. with Kate on her stream. It was like, it's like my least favorite style of game is just like press the A button to win. To, yeah, pretty much. What kind of and game is it? if you don't press it? the A button, within five seconds, the computer will do it for you. Yeah, it's a platformer, but it's is real easy. Yeah. Is it like an auto runner or something? No, no it's I mean, you run, but like, I mean, how hard is that? Nintendo's this, I think a lot of like my anger for Nintendo just comes with their multiplayer decisions. Yeah, like, they Mario keep Maker 2 is such a weird, months. weird multiplayer decision. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. I can't defend that. Well, like, say, yeah. you, say you had to defend it, what what could be a rationale for that? Their their rationale is nonsensical, but at, at least cogent, I guess. They're like, we want to maintain leaderboard integrity, and if you're playing with your friends, I don't know, maybe you guys could just stack up and, and have one person feed lives to the other one, and it would and screw the up only, the leaderboards. The, the, the easy solution is when you play with your friends, you don't actually add onto the leaderboard. Yeah, I mean, I'm, there's, there's myriad solutions, but Nintendo is just like, <clears throat> they're stubborn. Yep. So th did they come out and say that, or that's what kind of you can deduce that that's the only reason? No, that's what they, I think that's what they said. Like, oh. Yeah, I thought that was their like stated rationale. All right, so in here, you guys loot and I'll cover. Except <laughs> I am gonna loot this body. <laughs> All right, well, trust me, in there, the, the juicy loot is in there. I'm behind you, Dan, let's okay. do this. I'll go up. This guy had nothing, so he was probably looted by a player. You got that backpack though, right? Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, those shots, I don't think they were close, but. And so they've done some other like weird stuff multiplayer. I can't think about the time. What else? Like you, there's some other things you like you can't. 
Well, it's, it's, Smash Brothers Online multiplayer yeah. is uh, like a half a mess. It's not the worst, but uh, the rule set problem is a big problem where you, the game says, what what would you pre your preferred rule set be when you play online with other people? And then you're lucky, and then it's like a gamble whether you're actually playing that rule set or not. Yo, I'm going in the back office, don't shoot me. Yo, speaking of Smash, Matt, this... Yeah, I paid and registered. It's happening. One Wait, way or so what does this mean to, to us non-Smash aficionados? It means I'm going to go into our tournament in the end Evo. of August. Yes, <laughs> Evo. No, Shine. Uh, Shine is like 40 minutes from where I live, so it's not that big of a commitment. Are you going to be on the their Twitch stream? I if I'm good enough, if I don't get if I don't drown in pools, which is your you know unless they, you're, they sang uh, let the bodies hit the floor right exactly drown yeah. in pools drown in pools yep so what is they, so how big is this one this is uh all the big all the big big players are going to be there it's going to be like a, a pretty major one wait, so i probably won't make it out of pools but it'll be a fun experience wait so last time we talked you worried about getting embarrassed at your local five and yeah, dime shop do it either way <laughs> and then now you're going to like where the best I'm players like, are screw it well because i know the only way i'm gonna i'm gonna do it is if i fork over the cash to do it otherwise uh -huh. i'll keep finding an excuse to never go what does something like that cost to participate in that uh, well, sixty dollars for a three-day pass, but ten dollars to register, so seventy bucks all around. Got it. And then what is that? Like a best of three elimination, or how does that work? I I don't know how the the pools are gonna work. I every match is a best of three, but then I I imagine pools it's single elimination. So after that best of third, like those three matches, if you lose, you're out. Got it. But once you get to brackets, it's like if you lose and if you get knocked out, you go to losers, and then you have to fight your way to winners and blah blah blah. No, what? No, I, I found no loot, by the way. When it, did you loot the toolboxes? Um, yeah, there was nothing in them. <clears throat> okay, they've been looted by players then. Yeah, these jackets are empty too. When uh, when is it? A couple weeks? No, end of August. I've got oh. a couple months. I'm behind Ryan. Ryan, you have the new yeah. backpack, right? Yeah. Okay. And I'm behind you. Okay. Um, All right. All right. Shall Where we? to? It's an awkward time because we're 26 minutes into the video. But we also have no loot, so <laughs> I think we should at least Whoop. try a little spice. Sure. Man, Tarkov is all effy for me today. I, I really think the most recent update has caused some performance hiccups. So they're right now they're actively the right thing, but they have the new Unity update. So that when that so the new Unity updates out right now, they're whatever. What's the term for it, Ryan? Trying to upgrade to it or yeah they're like porting their this because this is old unity engine they're porting it to the new one so they're mm. they're their play is they're hopeful that it fix a lot i mean i don't think there's a ton of network issues but i agree with ryan on this last update there has been so as soon as that's done i think they're expecting kind of a fairly large boost cool but that's been the cool thing about tarkov is like and i'm sure if you guys have, have been playing this like there's updates at least once a week, you know, like yeah. they'll yeah, identify. Very active. Yeah, dude, the scavs are so good now. I know <laughs> that like you might not see it in video because sometimes they turn ninety degrees over the course of four <laughs> seconds, and then like you just one tap them. But if you don't zero in on them quick, they don't go for legs anymore. They yeah. go for like one tap headshots. They're much more dangerous. Before they were just like fodder. They got to make you work a little bit. Just, just a little. I think it's the the way that the balance should be is just like, you know, if you get the jump on them, 100% of the time you'll kill them. Like, I think you should have a big advantage against uh, AI scams, but uh, now they can at least fight back. It's not like when they see you, they're going to, you know, shoot 75 shots right into the concrete. <laughs> So I, I'm taking us to Xfil, but I'm hoping that there's maybe a little spice in, well, <laughs> in the corner of the mall. I, that's like that's an ambient sound, right, Dan? Oh, is it? No. Every time I'm on interchange, I hear that firework explosion. I'm like 90% sure it's not. I'm pretty much sure it's a Kobe. Because mm, nothing okay. in this game is like for thr like for thrills or for you know what I mean. It's, <laughs> it's like it's, if something's happening, is it's because it's happening. Okay, but I could be wrong and if I'm wrong, please let us know in the comments below it Might just be a grenade heavy map. Yeah So Matt, is you gonna do any like on stream training or are you just kind of keep it all your I, I want to practice I want to do like one stream a week where I maybe stream for a couple hours smash and just practice 
to play against Ryan Gary. He's pretty good. <laughs> I tried to play against Ryan, but uh, oh, Ryan, right in front of us, dude. Shot. Got him. What was that other that shot? Was, that that was tracer mean. shot. Okay. Hey, hey uh, my name's Ryan. I don't care about loot. Oh, behind, hey, behind, hey, hey, behind us, behind uh, us, behind us. Up top, up top. He's right by the red, right by the red. Dude, there was something off. Uh, did he duck? It's a scab. Yeah, yeah. Did you get him? No, no I'm... he's yelling, he's shouting. Oh, me too. You want me to go up there? I can go. I'll lead the way. All right, right behind you. <laughs> Got one out of 65 left in both legs, boys. How did he not drop after like five shots <laughs> into the back? I think he had a cross on. Does he have a good vest on? Oh, he's got yeah, I'm going to take his body armor. Yeah. We should get yeah, out of here, though. There's a burner somewhere close. This is going to say loot these boys and get out. Uh, it's stuck at 100. What's stuck Trying at 100? Trying to identify it. You hit the middle mouse button? No, I right-clicked examine, and now it's just not examining. I'll try again. Now I can't, All I'm going to say... I can't click on him anymore. Here, I'll, I'll Daniel, get it. you're going to make fun of me for there looting. But Not only did I one tap him, I dropped you a kitted out ADAR and the only mag I had for it about 15 minutes. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think I think I think Tarkov is dead. Ryan's walking in place and Dan is just staring at the floor. <laughs> is it, can we can we uh, push him to the exit? <laughs> Wait, Ryan, what, what were you saying? I was. I'm a loot monger. Is that what you're saying? It's not. No, did did Discord cut out, or were you just not listening? No, you said it, you dropped an ADAR. That, that will that will that will change the way that I respond to your question to repeat. So, so my, you my said, answer. "Hey, I dropped you the ADAR and the lo the only mag." Yeah, but were you not listening, or was there a technical <laughs> issue? What was the what was the issue? Uh, should I close it and reboot it? Can I log back in if I if I no. force close this? And no? you should shoot Mathis in the head. Take his good stuff. If yeah, he's, uh, do it because I'm I'm logged out. Plus, you can get a more experience. But I'm still like, it's like, hey, you told me something and then you didn't give me the question. No, because oh, that I, was a Mathis kill. Yeah, it's like Mathis. Yeah, okay. yeah they, well, because you were like, uh, you made fun of me for looting. Yeah, I made fun of you for looting. Yeah. I did just before the scamp kill you oh i'm ryan gary i don't like the loot <laughs> well i mean you vulture that which I, I said i not only was that the dude i killed but uh 15 minutes ago i dropped you a fully kitted out <laughs> gun out of the goodness of my heart meanwhile uh, on team unity i gotta uh, get in a freaking fist fight with people if i'm gonna <laughs> you know get a box of crackers out of their pocket well i will say this I think loot it, looting is healthy. It's a good thing. <laughs> Are you? Did you exfil? Yeah, I exfilled. Um, I tried disconnect. It's just giving me Dan's walking noise <laughs> in forever. So I'm just gonna all I four. What a bummer. Well, no. That ends up my, my video at the very least. Yeah, I mean Ryan's out. I'm on my way out. You guys, we're gonna call it here. Yeah, hey, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed the episode. If you have, click the like button. Also, a great deal of multiple perspectives and all. Ugh, coffee burp. All that mm. good stuff. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Goodbye. Hey, I'm still, just so you guys know, the mic's still hot. I'm just recording to the uh. expo. <clears throat> At this, uh, do you have fiber internet? I have Fios, yeah. I wonder what it it's is. Just it's just Tarkov. Tarkov's just a little a little messed up today for some reason on my end. Ryan, do you have fiber? Yes. You guys are living what, like the hundred hundred life? Hundred up, like hundred down? Three hundred thirty. I have a gig up, gig down, baby. Oh my <laughs> That's the good stuff. It's so good. And it's relatively like priced and lined with like cable, right? It's not like ex it's where I so for the most part, where I live, Comcast and Verizon 
are kind of separate. Like if you live in one area, you're getting one or the other. Mm -hmm. But I live in a very small part of the state where they overlap. Ooh. So the price of Fios is actually cheaper than cable internet is. A little healthy competition. Yeah, it's <laughs> weird what that'll do when, you know, you're not 